So I'm Nelson Pavlovsky, and I go to Swarthmore College um, outside of Philadelphia. So we got involved in the Diebold lawsuit because um, we discovered these in internal email archives of Diebolds, which had leaked out into the internet and had been, were being posted on different websites. Um, these memos re revealed um, possible flaws in Diebold's uh, electronic voting machines, and they also revealed that they were aware of these flaws and were trying to cover them up, which is the entertaining part. Um, and they started going after people who posted these memos online, um, threatening them with uh, DMCA takedown notices and their ISP, and threatening their ISPs, and and eventually they got around to us because we had also posted these memos on our website after seeing other websites around the web being shut down for carrying these memos. <clears throat> well, so we sued Diebold for abusing copyright law. Um, Diebold said that we claimed copyright on these internal emails, um, possibly evidence of wrongdoing. They claimed copyright on this, and they used copyright law to go after people. And, I mean, copyright law is not supposed to be used to suppress freedom of speech. Um, it's a little bit ridiculous. So we, um, so we went after them for that. <clears throat> Well, the problems with Diebold machines um, have been going on for a while. The most famous example is during the Bush-Gore election in Florida in 2000. Um, one of the more famous emails in the archive uh, said, it said essentially, um, some Diebold employee wrote back to home base an email saying, help this voting machine return negative 16,000 votes for Gore. What do I do? What happened? Um, and the, basically, these are what is called direct recording electronic voting machines. Um, and we've been worried about these machines for a while before we um, even heard of Diebold, um, because these are proprietary closed source um, electronic voting machines which leave no paper trail. There's nothing but these bits um, in the machine. It's, um, and because these are closed source machines, they're essentially black boxes, as Bev Harris likes, likes to put them. You don't know what's inside them. You don't know how they work. There's no way for independent reviewers to see whether these are operating properly. Um, in fact, earlier, um, I think in 1999 maybe, um, their, their source code leaked out onto the internet and people looked at it and it was horrendous. Um, there, there's a, like, some of their comments in their code said, this is a quick hack to, for the moment. Um, in production machines, which we were being used in elections, we had quick hacks. Um, 